Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, we are going to install a new project called as Hi3DGen on our local system. This project provides a new direction for high fidelity 3D geometry generation from images by leveraging normal maps as an intermediate representation. Let me first show you a few of the examples. So you see here, from the below rows, they have just created this 3d image in a very very fine way with a growing demand for high fidelity 3d models from 2d images existing methods still face significant challenges in accurately reproducing the fine-grained geometrical details due to limitations in domain gaps and inherent ambiguities in rgb images to address these issues, they have proposed this high 3 d gen, which is a new framework for generating high-fidelity 3D geometry from images via normal bridging, as you can see in few of these examples. This high 3 d gen consists of three key components. First, an image-to-normal estimator that decouples the low-high-frequency image pattern with noise injection and dual stream training to achieve generalizable, stable, and sharp estimation. Secondly, it includes a normal to geometry learning approach that uses normal regularized latent diffusion learning to enhance 3D geometry generation fidelity. And finally, it has got a 3D data synthesis pipeline that constructs a highly detailed and quality data set to support the training. They have also shared a lot of detail on their repo, which I will drop the link of in video's description. So now let's try to get it installed and we will see how it works. Let me also give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. This is the VM I'm going to use and my GPU card is NVIDIA RTX 6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. If you're also looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, you can find the link to their website in video's description. And I will also give you a discount coupon of 50% for range of GPUs. And now let's git clone the repo and I will drop the link to it in video's description. That is done. And then from the root of the repo, install all the requirements. And that is going to take a couple of minutes while that happens, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGenPod. iGenPod lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge pod across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support. And I will drop the link to their website in video's description. And everything is installed. Next up, all you need to do is to launch the Gradio demo from the root of the repo. And the first time when we run it, it is going to download the model and all the auxiliary files. And that is going to take a couple of minutes. So let's wait. And now it is running in, on our local system, uh, system. So let me quickly access it in our browser. And there you go. So high 3D gen is running. And from here, you can play around with it. So I just selected this image from this example and click on generate shape. It is generating the shape. While it does that, let's also check the VRAM consumption. So it is consuming close to 13 gig of VRAM, which is not bad really. Let's see what exactly it produces. There you go. So this is a normal bridge and this is a preview. Let's click on 3D model. I don't think so that's available at the moment, but this is really, really nice you see it is producing it the map which we discussed earlier in a very very fine way okay so it took a bit of a time with the 3d model but at least it is here and it's very slow to move i'm just moving it through my mouse up and down there you go i'm going down here okay it is also telling us that it is around it takes around one minute to load so i'll just wait for a minute to see how it goes it's very slow at the moment also, you can select different file formats like GLP and PLY and few others, which is related to 3D assets. Okay, so now let's try out one more example. So I'm just going to maybe go with this. 
let's click on generate shape and you can also tinker with some of the advanced settings if you like but i would suggest that you just go with a default one this is just some guidance to prompt prompt adherence and then any random seed value for reproducibility and you see that normal bridge is perfect and if i just quickly go to preview that looks really good from every angle it has really represented its 3d in a very fine way and now let me select one of the images from my local system and my system is that slow at the moment so let's wait so i just uploaded this image from my local system and interestingly enough once you upload it it also processes it so for example if i quickly show you the original image so this is the original image with all the background and stuff and once i loaded it it has removed all the background and then we can generate the shape with the normal bridge and stuff so let's see what it produces here and this is what i was referring to earlier that this is where they are generating this high fidelity 3d geometry there you go and they are all doing it through normal bridging and that is where this image to normal estimator is decoupling the low high frequency image pattern with noise injection and dual system training and then if i click on 3d model which takes a bit of a time so it takes around one minute or so to load it and then you can of course check it out and the quality is really good for this 3d asset look at that then you can export it as a mesh and use it wherever you like and then it seems that we also have the option of doing the multiple images which is not available at the moment but might come soon okay so let's try one final one so i'm just going to cancel it and i'm just going to reload it just to make sure that it is faster i'm just going to upload maybe a human image i'll just pick up my own image uh, from here maybe this one is okay there you go you see it has removed all the background let's click on generate ship and wait for it and there you go you see there are slightly i think it could be improved here uh, but because these poses are not that reflective there is a gap between hand and face but other than that it's not that bad let's quickly check the 3d model this is a 3d model and human figures are always very hard to do in 3d there you go. it seems it is holding something instead of just putting the hand on the face there you go anyway but look really good effort from bite tense they already have produced some good models which we have covered on the channel so if you're interested just search i'm sure you are going to find heaps of other value and if you enjoyed the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching